Hey guys, what's up? This is Place the Move and remember earlier this year when I made the video that's a trip to my father? Well, I was gonna make one of my mother during her birthday, but I forgot. But better write the name, right? This is my tribute to my mother. Now, first off, fucking introduce yourself. Hi, YouTubers. I'm Ostros, Place's mother. Let's now talk about the party. There was a fucking awesome party, I remember. Uh huh. Should I bring the uh, card? Invitation card? Well, you can if you want, but. I want it on. Alright, go ahead and bring me then. So, this is the card. But you guys probably don't understand what the hell it says on here, Shines. But the pictures. It's the invitation card. Yeah, could you perhaps translate for my warriors? It was just an invitation to my 50 years birthday, 50 years old birthday, and it was a party, and you were supposed to wear a hat or something on your head and be in a good mood. And we started with a cocktail, Cosmopolitan, and we had a lot of balloons, and yeah. And there was a music band, your brother did play drum in it, play the drums. Yeah, and also sick, I did say some history about my mother. Yeah, she gave a speech, she is my oldest sister. She gave a speech uh, about how things were when I was born at that time. And another sister of mine gave a, a speech about, she did ask a lot of people to give, give some what they think about me. And that was very, very kind. I'll say, guys, it's the older than my fucking father. Yes. She's nine, nine years older than me. And then there was this band, music band, that was a lot of surprise. Your little brother Snorri and Gummi, friend of us, and Hannes, they played four songs. That was the first song was with the Beatles that was uh, published on my birthday when I was born. 3rd of December 1965 and then they played three other songs and, and the last song was a song that is popular today and I was very happy to hear this. Yeah, but what about those women who came with that funny video clip? I really liked that. Oh, good to hear. Hear that, Stunky Viyava. I am in this uh, women club called uh, Sisters of Yava and we are 14 together and we did a uh, study nurse together and we have been in this club for over 20 years and they made a wonderful video uh, to me a uh, tribute to me and then there was Tran, friend of mine who gave a beautiful speech i've known her since i was 13 years old and then there was this group i to work with the mountain group they were great they all, all had well met and light on the well met and they sang the song, Christian Men, which is a very uh, strong song you sing. Alright. And then there was this guy who came very surprised, Bjartmar, who is a famous musician in Iceland. He came and he, he did play a lot of nice songs and we did dance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, Alright. Now this video isn't just about that fucking party. It's also about how much my mom has helped me out through the years. Oh, nice to hear, please. Now, if I remember correctly, it wasn't so easy for me back when I was a kid to go to a proper school. But my mother, she's the one that found Langkut School, right? Yeah, with a group of people, yeah. It was a special... A department in Lancaster School and with all those great teachers which became my friends. Yeah? Yeah, and I actually would like, I invited Swiney to my birthday party, but she lives in Arizona, so yeah, I always have fought for you. Yeah, now talk about some of the greatest things that you have done for me in the past. I think people should fucking know about that. You have to tell that. I don't know what I've done. Oh. What have I done so good for you? Do you remember when I did 
have those pictures to guide you. I, I've always wanted to guide you. And I have learned from a lot of good people who do know a lot about autism. They have helped us yeah. to do you the way you are today. And you have also been very good what you have been doing. Yeah. Do you remember when we, for a whole winter, we did para uh, we did carry out the newspapers to have some money, and in the end of the winter, we went to New York when you were 20 years old. Oh yeah, I remember that New York trip. It was fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. It's just too bad that the videos that I made there are long gone. Yeah, but I do have uh, uh, many pictures from that. Yeah. I wish I could re-upload those videos to my archive channel, but they're sadly long gone. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. But we have been doing a lot of good things together. But that New York trip, that's definitely worth bringing up, because that was fucking awesome. It was so much fun. Mm -hmm. Really? And you wanted to go out in the nature? So I had to find out what do you do when you're in New York and you want to go out in the nature. Yeah, so we went to where? Yeah, the nature in New York City was fucking beautiful. But there is something that I learned. I have learned to appreciate the nature in my country. And yeah, I really fucking do appreciate the nature in my country. Actually, there is something else that I want to talk about that's worth bringing up. We have biked together around fucking Reykjavik a lot. Yeah, I was just thinking about the bi bicycle tours. Since you were a, a child, when you were young, I always had a chair on my bike and I could bike, you, you biked with me around the, wherever I wanted to go. And then you went to Lampelskoli, which is far away from here. You did bike and we did bike together. And the, I, I always think so are those are our best times when we bike together. Yeah! We should do it, it more often, please. It's so nice. It's a quality time with you when we bike together. Um, yeah, we should definitely bike together again. But we should wait until the winter is over because now is definitely not a good time to go fucking biking. Even though I bike a lot, I have spikes on my tires. But I do agree. And one thing that I got for a birthday present, that I got some money from many oh, friends. Okay, let me first say something. Yeah. Regarding spikes, they are cool and everything, but they don't always help. I have fallen on my bike even yeah. with spikes. Yeah, one has to be very careful, I do agree. Okay, go on. You I, 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 got, got, I got many beautiful birthday presents from my friends. I, I have so many friends and they were over a hundred people in this party and I got money and I'm going to buy me a racer next spring. Do you know what racer is? It's a it's a bicycle that is much more lighter than yours and mine. And I can be, and, and the tires are very thin and I will go very fast. But you don't use it during winter, it's for summer. Of course. Yeah. And one thing about the birthday party, I have to tell you, it is thanks to your father how great party this was. Oh really? That's yeah, cool. he did organize the, this music band with your brother and this guy, Bjartmar, who came to the party, your pa father did talk to him mm -hmm. and your father said, no problem, you can have such a big party, no problem. And we had such a big party. Mm -hmm. So I'm very, very happy. What do you think about this party? Yeah, it was great. I just want to thank you for being such a fucking fantastic mother. Oh. You are fucking awesome and I really fucking love you a lot. Really? Yeah. You don't always say that. Thank you. And you gave me those beautiful flowers. Oh yeah, you should give it. I was very appreciated by that. I was very happy. Hey, we should have the video by you. Show who in the flowers were holding them. Yeah, sure. It reminds me of the flower you gave me when we were in New York and there was a Mother's Day. Do you remember that? Oh, yes. I should take a picture. Are you going to take a picture? Yeah, I fucking remember. So, 
Thumbnail. Yeah, this should be the fucking thumbnail. Yeah. Well, guys, you have reached the end of the video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.